Uh, back in 2020, uh, a diary was left behind by Ashley Biden. Uh, nobody stole anything. Uh, Amy Harris, who lived at the house, discovered the diary, was under the bed, along with uh, 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 Ashley Biden's clothes, luggage, pills. Her, so Amy, her and her friend, because Rob, Rob's going to have to play this, uh, this lady calls James O'Keefe, and she goes, listen, we found this thing. It's under the bed. Rob, can you, can you play that? The video, this is, now this is the lady that they found it and she's reporting finding this thing. Rob, can you play this clip? My family, their friend who owns a house down here in Palm Beach was renting it out. I don't know how, but this is a while back. But anyway, somebody, a new renter moved in and Ashley Biden was staying in this room and they found her diary, all of her clothes, luggage, pills. Anyway, um, diary is pretty crazy, crazy. Um, I think it's worth taking a look at it's not a joke it's real and um, I'd love to get into your hand okay so now ready for this guys so this lady finds it PBD her and her friend are like hey I'm gonna go to a, a Trump uh, rally I'm gonna try to sell it to them this is this is good you know what's it called tom like op opposition research when you try to damage the other political Oppo, opponent. Yep. yeah so trump campaign says they can't use it trump said trump and them say go to the fbi so they can't so they go to james o'keefe to verify it's verified the department of justice raids two of james o'keefe's and project veritas's houses uh and think about it have you ever heard of the fbi raiding somebody's house for uh, alleged uh stolen uh, a diary, which is ridiculous. So this just... Oh, we have now. Well, think about it, Tom. This just proves that the FBI is biased and runs the left because they protect Joe Biden. All right, just just like when they set up with, with the Twitter... Uh, at, uh, the FBI was at, at Twitter for all the negative stories. Now, regardless, the diary is real, guys. Like, I, they, they authenticated the diary. Not only uh, did prosecutors confirm the diary as being authentic, but Ashley Biden also recorded calling Project Veritas to get her stuff back. Rob, can you play the, the, the audio? This is Ashley Biden calling Project Veritas to try to get her stuff back. Hi, is this Ashley Biden? This is she. How are you? I'm doing well. Yeah, I just wanted to, so I heard you have um, a few of my belongings. Um, and so I was going to ask if, it would, if you could please meet my friend, Eric, who is down in Del Rey. If you could meet him and get, and get this up to him. There's, there's a, a diary here. It starts in January. It says, January, at the end of a New York month, I'm sitting on a bed uh, at the I building. Yeah, so if you could just give everything that you have um, to Eric, that would be really um, um, great. I don't want to give this to to the wrong what? person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, out. I want to make sure. Uh, at, this, is the, at this point, it's, I don't mean to. I, I don't want to have to get Secret Service involved in this, right? Because <laughs> it's just it's, it's a whole process. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I, I am Ashley Biden. It is my stuff. So if you could just give all of that, it is my stuff. It is my stuff. Really okay, and 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 again, so everybody's worrying about. Oh my God, they stole. Let's just be honest with each other, guys. The daughter said it is my stuff. It's her stuff. So besides the fact that the Biden kids keep leaving things behind that's incriminating the family one has to ask like and we talked about this yesterday with shane and uh, connor is this pbd could this be a cry for help hunter biden leaves two uh, incriminating laptops at the computer re uh, repair shop with videos of him doing drugs with what appeared to be underage girls his daughter is leaving a diary which i've never heard of somebody leaving a freaking diary behind it's as if they're doing it on purpose and then i read the diary like i said i'm gonna have rob put the link up but guys Ashley, in the Bible, and I'm in the Bible, in the diary, which I'm going to read right now, PBD, she was contemplating whether her father was sexually inappropriate with her when she was a little girl. She mentions in the diary showers with her dad and also talks about them being uh, not appropriate. This is what I'm going to I'm going to read to you guys. She said it. And this is and Rob's going to put the link in there. I think I'm going. Oh. I think I'm going to an AA meeting tomorrow night, and maybe uh, he will be there, maybe not. But I always have been crazy, and I remember pulling up my skirt in second grade and showing the boys my underpants. Hypersexualized at a young age, what does this do to? Was I molested? I think so. I can't remember specifics, but I do remember trauma. I remember not liking the Wool Woolzack's house. I remember somewhat being sexualized with Carolyn, and here's where it gets crazy. I remember having sex with friends at a young age, Showering with my dad, probably not appropriate, okay? It just stopped. 
Ha- uh, showers with my dad, probably not appropriate. Being turned on when I wasn't supposed to. And then she keeps going. And this, I, uh, she says, I- I'm not going to get into that because it's pretty, pretty bad. But she goes, I could list all the reasons, but I can't seem to find uh, the solution. And there it goes again. But she, she wrote that Joe Biden... Uh, was brought into tears for his daughter just before a Democratic primary debate, PBD, because he knew that if this got into the wrong hands, this was going to get out, and people were going to know about it. Because think about the national threat, Tom. If China or Russia gets a hold of this diary and they find out that, you know, the president was, from her words, sexually in the shower with her, molesting and doing all that type of stuff, I think it, it, it opens up a can of worms that's insane. Tom. I think this is horrible, and uh, I've read portions of the Bible. Uh, the diary, yeah. The diary that have been made. Now you got me doing it. Yeah, my That bad. were made public. And this is a person talking about her journey with AA and a very troubled past. And it must be terribly embarrassing for her for this to be made uh, public. But the other part of this is this appears to be an abused minor mm-hmm. that is in the household of the President of the United States. Yeah. And implicating the president himself in parts of this. And I find that to be horrifying. I find the fact that her brother is also deeply troubled to be horrifying. And um, it comes back to parenting and it comes back to things. Yeah. And, uh, and, and at a uh, Rob, that it's, it's that mic. Just bolt it up. To, yeah. Just unplug it. There we go. Um, that's the mic. Adam, it was Adam this whole time. <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's not you. But, um, and then, okay, that's perfect, because then once Rob gets in here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something. So she writes all this stuff, she, and, and I'm going to have Rob uh, put the link up there, guys. She's saying all this stuff, and look at, look at what this type of childhood, if it is true, which it's her words, not mine, look at what it's, it has done to her overly sexualized in AA and all this. And Robbie, can you do me a big favor if you get a chance? Could you play? It's not like we don't have a history of Joe Biden being what Joe Biden does. Can you please play that video that I sent you earlier in my in my Slack? And as if, as if Joe Biden hasn't showed us, I know allegedly Tara Reese said that he, he pushed her against the wall. This is during the Democratic uh, uh, debates and he uh, penetrated her. Guys, this is the guy that Ashley Biden constantly wrote about in her diary and why she is who look play this clip look, there you go. and then we're gonna have there look, look, you got it. okay look at his hands just look at joe biden's freaking hands look and this girl wrote about what he like look at look how uncomfortable she is look look how uncomfortable is this child and look at the parents what are you doing look at, what are you doing Look at his hand. Look at his hand. No, not smile. No pain to your 30. Yeah. Hey, Angel, how old are you? You're 12. 12. You Rubbing her hair. How are you? The problem is, you know, you guys, you got a hard time. <laughs> like, and you also have the actress. All right. Just remember the actress that met him? Yeah. Uh, look, look, like, even the, like, was that Eva Longoria? Yeah. Eva Longoria grabbing he, he moved his Yeah, look, look. He's pitching this little girl. This girl is eight years old. I forgot her name. She's an eight-year-old girl. She even wrote, she posted something about how uncomfortable that moment was. Yeah, pause it. So I want to ask you a question, PPD. Yeah. As a father... And I know you have little kids, and, and, and I think my, my friend Brady talked about, yeah, with his two-year-old, he had shorts, but he was shot because he was trying to. Have you ever heard of someone taking showers with their kids at an inappropriate age where she can remember and write about it? Like, and you see how he acts. You see how he does. In 2018, Rob, he had a video where he sat there and had to apologize. He goes, listen, I know I'm touchy. I know I'm handsy. And I got to get better. How, what, when you see that, and, I, and the fact that he has control of the FBI to go raid James O'Keefe's place just to get a diary back, that doesn't, when have you ever heard something like that? That just shows you that they, the left, the Democrats, own the FBI. How, I, I don't get it. She's, these are her words. I didn't make this up. She's saying I was over-sexualized, um, young, showers with my dad, not, at not an appropriate age. Well, how, do you, how as a father, do you, d- does that bother you when you hear shit like that and you see him doing stuff like that? Yeah, the, the part that stuck out the most is when the daughter said, yeah, that's my writing. I wrote it, but you need to give it back. I don't want to get Secret Service involved. The fact that she said that's my writing, they can't say that's not her writing. Exactly. The person who wrote it just said that is my writing, right? I don't know if you heard that, Rob. If you go a little bit more further, further, further. Oh, yeah. 
Right there, he because yeah, because he wants and by yeah, great yeah. tactic, he wants to make sure it's hers. He goes, "We read this Bible. Is this a Bible? I keep saying Bible because I do read the Bible. This is her diary. Right, right there, pray from right there, right, pray right there. There you go. Listen. At this, the, at this point, and I don't mean to, I, I don't want to have to get Secret Service involved in this, right? Because it's just it's a whole process. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, I I am Ashley Biden. It is my stuff. So if you could just skip all of that over, I would really. It is my stuff. It is. There it is. So, there it is. So, but the question, so, so now, okay. So the question now becomes what's going to happen? Absolutely nothing. But, that. but the part about absolutely nothing is, uh, uh, is also uh, predicated based on uh, you, you don't yet know if there's one thing Trump knows how to do. Um, okay. Who's the underdog Trump or Bi Biden? Who's the underdog? Oh, Trump, it's, right? 100% Trump's the underdog. Okay. Okay. In life, there are a, a few different types of fighters, okay? There, there are a few different types of fighters, and you'll relate to one of them. And when I explain this to you, this will make sense to you. Um, <clears throat> there are those who are very good at winning as underdogs, but they don't know how to win as favorites. Let me explain, mm -hmm. okay? The, the, so, so this kind of makes sense. Trump beat Hillary as an underdog or a favorite? He was the underdog. Oh, the huge. ultimate Old underdog. Like no one, if we are at 3.30 in the morning, Tom and I are on the phone saying, what the hell, did, what just happened, Tom? Is this guy the president? He's the president. Billboard goes on, uh, you know, uh, what's that guy's name? The, the, the one with the weird hair who's very Conan O'Brien. He says, <laughs> I guess he's our president. <laughs> he says, but listen, you think this the, the 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 hockey, the U.S. Olympic thing, the the whatever you, the Dodgers doing this or the Mets or you know the Yankees, all these things, the Steve whatever home runs, nothing ever comes close to this. Nobody ever thought this guy's gonna win, right? He was the underdog. Then he's the favorite. He didn't know how to manage being a favorite. Mm -hmm. He didn't know how to do it against it because you, as a favorite, you can't use the same tactics. Like it's not fair. They're not doing this. Da 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 da. You, you're so as a favorite. Sometimes playing as a favorite in his personality, he plays too aggressive and it comes across arrogant as a favorite. Sometimes when you're a favorite, you have to play a little bit like giving up to the people, the workers, but then now he's back at being the underdog. The guy knows how to win as an underdog. So meaning the same way, if there is a debate and he had those three ladies that Clinton was accused of raping, mm -hmm. three, four ladies that were in the place and- Wanting to Broderick, the whole crew. He had to look at him and Hillary had to look at him. Those are moments. Trump knows these types of moments. You know, all there needs to be is one debate with Biden. All there needs to be. For him to have a couple guests in the audience to put up there, Tony Bumliski, or have all these other people lined up. Let me tell you who I have here in the audience. I got this guy. I got that guy. I got this guy. I got that guy. I got the, you know, the, the have you seen the, and then he'll take something out of his pocket. Have you ever seen, the, and she said this is her diary. She said it. She's, no, Trump's going to say, yeah. and this is her diary, her words. Mm -hmm. She said while she was being interviewed, this is her diary. Bring it back or else I'm calling Secret Service. Whose daughter have you ever heard read something like this in her diary? Trump's capable of these moments. These types of moments are moments that can help him win the entire thing. That if he knows, he can, even Snopes says unproven. That, yeah. Which and, I, and by the way, in Snopes, you know what unproven means? True. True. Yeah, exactly. And, the, and, and, and going back to the story, what really, yeah, it says this, PBD, it says, while there is strong evidence the diary exists, no source has authenticated its content. The daughter the did. The writer <laughs> just did. What are you talking about? She yeah. said this is mine. Yeah, it's her. And that, Snopes, what yeah. else do you need aside from Ashley saying, I wrote it? Yeah, that's coming from the horse's mouth. And by the way, and I think people are, 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 are going to cease to figure out the story is DOG seeks prison time for the woman who stole the diary. Guys, she found it under a bed, and guess what? She said, holy crap, I have something. Let me try to sell it. And guess what? Talk about that. Okay, it's, it's bad. It's not good. You know, it's immoral. That's Okay, put that to the side. The diary, the content is real, and this just goes back to behaviors of elite Pieces of scum that know that they can get away with anything that they want. Rob reported a story a while ago about all the Epstein tracking airplane uh, phone logs. And guess what the majority of them flew back to, Rob? What was the most condensed place, Robert, of all the people going back home after they went to the pervert island? Wait, explain it a little bit. You're so, talking so about Rob, the ping, Rob, pings yeah. on the cell phones yeah. like Rob, Rob, on Rob. the island and then the pings to the cell phones back on the mainland. Yeah, so Rob, what was that, that one piece? There were 160 different pings. I can't hear you. 
You can't hear you. Oh, my mic's. Oh, okay. So there were so uh, the majority of the people that flew to Epstein Island and then they went back home. The 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 the, the major hub of them. Guess where they flew? Washington, Virginia, that area. So my point, Pat, what, what drives me crazy is. You, you hear the girl, what she's saying. You see his behavior live on camera when he's getting sworn in, touching these these little girls. He's smelling all these yeah. kids, and nobody says anything? No, 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 no. It's not nobody says anything. A lot of people say a lot of things. Uh, uh, th- th- there's, there's different things. When you, in, 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 when you run a company and you're, you run a good-sized company and you have a lot of employees and a lot of salespeople, there were certain people that thought they could get away with murder. They can't, okay? Everybody knows a negative crowd. You know who the negative crowd is? They all hang out together, and they all think they're right. And the negative crowd will try to do one thing. They'll try to get the person that they think they can convert to be a negative, like you. They'll come to you and they say, I think we can convert uh, Vinny to be a negative. And then it's your choice to not fall for the negative crowd. The negative crowd always parties together. They have lunch together. They have dinner together. They complain about their bosses together. They complain about their jobs together. They, they complain about everything together. I don't know why. Every place I ever worked, from military to Bally's to Morgan Stanley to World Financial to, you know, uh, uh, P- everywhere I've ever worked, I don't know why negative people find each other. Mm. I don't know why. And they are by far a hundred times better recruiters than positive people. Positive people have a hard time recruiting because the message of being positive is hard because the onus is on you. It's personal responsibility. Is what are you doing about it? Is why don't you improve? Can you not be, you know, challenge yourself, read some books, do this. The negative crowd's like, what's a book going to do for me? He has every, all he wants to do is read, right? So meaning the people that don't want to believe this and they're going to vote a certain way, you can't do anything to them anyways. They're part of the negative crowd. They're just going to buy and they're going to be like, yeah, whatever. They're just trying to make it up. Stupid. Why would she ever write something like that? She wouldn't write something like that. They're part of that crowd, right? And then there's the middle crowd, the independents that are sitting there saying, what if this is true? You ever gone down the rabbit hole of a topic you were curious about and you're like, oh my God, what if this is true? 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 And you're like, maybe this is true. And then those people are going to flip. And you have to trust the fact that American people, as it gets closer and closer, trust the manipulators, trust the game, game uh, 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 those who are going to play games, trust the fact that the next seven months are going to be ugly as hell. They're going to play so many games the next seven months. Trust me, it's going to be insanity. But I trust in the independent voter who can think for himself and herself. I believe in that person. Can I ask you one question? Yeah, PVD? of course. Do, the pattern. Yeah. She leaves a diary under a bed. Sure. Okay. Hunter goes to the lab, sh- the, the repair shop, leaves these two laptops with the hell, the laptop. The, sure. Do you feel maybe, Pat, that these kids are doing it as like a cry for help? Like, come look at what the hell we've been through? Because they're both maybe really messed and, up. And the way you have to look at it is you have to put everything on, on, on the board and, and consider which one's going to be what and put some odds behind it. Could be a slight likelihood. This is a rally. This is a method of these guys crying for help. Mm-hmm. Hey, this is what he did to us. This is what happened with me. I'm turned out like this. Like this guy hooked up with his brother's wife. I know. Oh, God. Can you imagine like dead some, brother's like, wife? Dead brother's wife. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so you know these are these are things that again, I trust the independent voter who has the ability to reason, who is the willingness to be wrong, who is willing to accept that the ideas they got in the past that they supported were wrong and who loves America and is typically a joyful, happy person. I believe in those guys. I'm leaning on those people saving this great nation. And I think they will. I think they will. I'm, I'm uh, because, on board. Yeah, I think they will. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.